Salut everyone, Air Max here. In this video, we're gonna talk about some things that come up again and again in the community, which is kind of like dividing everyone. And it's, it's a big debate. It's like, should you go rolling edge or stable when you come to a Linux distribution choice in gaming? Well, let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. Recently, I stumbled on this uh, little like post on Reddit on the sub of like Linux gaming. And this gentleman here, Packet Auditor, uh, he, he come with a strong, like I would say, like hot, heated, like take saying, stop recommending outdated this rule for gaming rent. And then he starts with a, like, you know, like huge uh, argumentation where he explained that you need to go with rolling edge distro and not the other one. Like there is no advantage of staying on a stable uh, release type of distro versus uh, a rolling edge when it comes to gaming. And man, like this, this post kind of triggered me. Okay, I need to be honest with you guys. I looked at it and I understand that this gentleman is simply saying that in a, in a really aggressive way that uh, you shouldn't play with a six month old kernel and a 14 month old NVIDIA driver. And while I, I really kind of like agree with that, I think it's, it's not as a clear cut divide between should you go stable or should you go rolling edge. There is a little part of gray in the middle in which you could find your happiness. Let's get into it because there is a lot to cover here and I'm gonna have a, a little you know, different approach. However, what I want to mention is like, I want to thank all the members of uh, La Crème de la Crème Club, whether they are supporting on YouTube or on Patreon. Today is a big, big, I would say like step for uh, my channel because we officially pass 1 million view. Yes, 1 million view. It's just insane. So it's, it's a pretty big, like, I would say like uh, a step. And yes, now we are in the 1 million club, papa. Anyway, so guys, thank you very much for watching also. And don't forget, like, if you like the video, if you like the channel, just put a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, we're going to continue to this incredible growth. Sky is the limit. Let's go back to the video. So when it comes to distribution on Linux, you see, I'm going to put my little like uh, drawing thing there. Like, I hope the drawing are going to be good enough, guys. But when it comes to Linux distribution, there is really like two big approaches, right? You have the stable, okay, here. I'm putting like in capital like that. Ooh, -hoo. oh, look at this. Wow, the stable like that. And then, oh, my bad, okay. And then you have here the rolling edge. Okay, so rolling edge is going to be, so I'm going to call him like that, rolling, okay. And the rolling edge are going to be more like pushing all the updates. So just for you to understand really quickly, here's the stable. It doesn't mean like the, the actual like distro is more stable, right? This is not what it means. It means that the release cycle of packages in those distros there are based on a more like stable release path. So example, you are running Debian and you install Plasma. Okay, so it's going to be Plasma 5 as we speak. Plasma 6 is going to be pushed during, uh, you know, like the, the, the actual update cycle of Debian. And it's not going to be pushed toward Debian because the overall idea of a stable distro is to keep the same big version of packages and just push the, you know, bug correction, the, the little update, but stay within the same realm. So you are on KDE 5 when you install it, you're going to stay on KDE 5 until Debian push the next update, which is going to be uh, Debian 13, uh, whatever date it is. Okay. But you're going to, you're going to stay on KDE 5, no matter what. Okay. On the other hand, rolling, when there is a new uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment, guess what? They're going to push it. They're going to test it internally for like one, two, three weeks, when they feel like it's stable enough, they are going to push it. That's all. Like this is the real difference. That's, that's, that's the, the only difference between those two ones. So I, I won't go between like which one is stable, which one is rolling, like just, just make your research. When it comes to gaming, your choice 
of type of distro is going to have a, a really important impact on the way you optimize and you maintain your distro. It won't have any impact on performance because this needs to be said. Okay, I already made a video about it. Linux is Linux. Whether you use a rolling edge or a stable distro, you can install all the package on whatever distro you want. Like this is not a problem. All right, it's not a problem. It's just going to be how much time and effort do you want to invest to maintain your distro. And there is a situation where stable is going to be better for you. And there is a situation where rolling is going to be better for you. I'm going to give you a concrete example about what I'm talking about. It's 2026 and the 8850 XT GPU just released. Okay. So this is the AMG GPU, all right? AMG GPU. That's the new GPU. It's released. Here is the type of problem you're going to get into. And I'm going I'm going to explain you straight what what is going to be. You're on a stable. The way it works on a stable with this type of hardware is that you have to go through Mesa and the kernel okay to play a video game. Okay, this this is a arch reality. And if you are using a stable distro, it means like this version is old. This is old by definition, right? Because they don't want to upgrade it for nothing. It's going to stay at the same version until the next big upgrade. Your hardware is compatible. Good for you. Is not compatible. Problem. Huge problem. You're going to be in a position where you're going to have to wait for them to push or you're going to have to compile it yourself. And I'm telling you straight, compiling Mesa, upgrading the kernel is totally possible, but it's not for everyone. It is not for everyone. Now you are on a rolling. You put your graphic card in your PC, but guess what? The Mesa here is the latest. This is the latest possible. The kernel, same. Oh, sorry about that. It is the same. Man, this, <laughs> this way of writing kernel was really bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> kernel. What, what is that? What? Same. You have the latest version there. Okay. Oh, you make a little smiley, smiley face. I'm so good at that. There is a high chance that when Mesa is going to support your card, you're going to be okay. So at this point, you're going to be, well, but this guy is right. You should go with the rolling and, and live the high life and just gaming all day. Well, it's a little bit more complex than that. Okay, because on paper, it should be right. But what happened most of the case here in the rolling, you can have what it's called regression. Because when you are on a rolling, everything is going to be updated all the time. And not only Mesa, and not only Kernel, every package is going to be the latest. Obviously, like the team of the distros are going to test it, but there is still bug because this is the one which are like ongoing development. So putting you in a position where you are like, you know, stay like not stable, but you have like everything working all the time. It, it, it won't be true. You're going to have hiccup. And what it means, it means you're going to have more maintenance, more maintenance. And again, for me, for example, my personal example, I rather use that because I know how to maintain my operating system. When a package is not working, I, I know how to find it. I know how to find the cause of the issue. I know how to fix it, right? Downgrade it, uh, alternative. Like there is multiple ways you can fix, right? Things. Now, if, if you don't know that, if you don't want to spend time on this part, you're going to have to use the stable. Because here, what has been defined in I would say the landscape of the distro when you install it is going to be the same. That's all. How do we solve this issue? For example, with AMD 850 XT GPU there. I told you, you compile the kernel. You maybe find a, a kernel pre-compiled because you are lazy. I, I will do that personally. And you download it. So here I would say last test kernel, you go take AG. Boom. Uh, last, latest Mesa, you go Mesa Kizak, for example, if you're on Debian. Boom, you download it, and now you're in a position where 
you have the latest Mesa made by Kizak, right? You have the latest kernel gaming compiled with TKG, and you're good to go. If you stick with a stable and you don't do those upgrades, there is a high chance you won't even be able to game with your new hardware. Is it a bad way to do that? No, it's not. Like, it's, it's actually really good. Now, let's talk about recommendation overall, and I want to justify the fact that I will always recommend Mint versus any other distro for a beginner and why I, I will push uh, all the beginners there. So I'm going to start. So this is Mint in green. This is Mint. And here, what we're going to do, we're going to do uh, Cache OS, for example, which will be right now like the distro I will recommend most of the time. So you go with uh, Cache. So people say Cache OS, but I, I don't like it. I like Cache. How do we go from there? You're going to see it's, it's pretty simple. You are a new user, okay? Beginner, it's here. This is it. This is for the beginner. This is for the advanced. That's, that's the way you should go. You are a beginner. You want to learn about Linux. You start with Mint. Whatever hardware you have, I'm going to be clear. Whatever hardware you have, you go on Mint. What you do here, first thing you're going to do, you're going to optimize it. Optimize it. You optimize it. So what does it mean? You have AMD, Kizak, you have NVIDIA, latest driver. Kernel, I repeat, TKG for me, but you can, you can find others, but this is the idea, okay? And what is really great about Mint is that you reduce the complexity, right? And you kind of understand what really counts when you come to gaming. Because for gaming, it's not complicated. Kernel, driver stack, up to date, and then the rest is it, going to flow. All right? Here, you're going to have more stable package, which means that if LibreOffice, for example, upgrade, you're going to be fine. Easy maintenance for this one. If we go to Cache OS, sometimes some upgrades are going to break the system. It's, it's not going to be a big break, right? It's not going to be like, oh, it deleted my grub. It won't be something like that. Sometimes it could happen. But it's going to be like, oh, for example, like the same LibreOffice, uh, you know, like Fresh, I think that's the name of it, like the Fresh version. Well, when I open my file, now they are broken. How do I solve that? You see, this type of little things, which going to be on top of the rest. Because on Kashi, the kernel plus like the driver, whether they are like from Mesa or whatever, they are up to date. They are the latest, right? So you won't have those issues, but you're going to have a lot of other issues related to maintenance. So now, before we start to fight in the chat, I'm going to tell you why, and, and this is why it's so stupid, like when you, when you think about like Linux distribution in general, why everybody is right, but everybody is wrong at the same time. So let me explain you and how hardware is actually the key for, for understanding the issue here. So here I'm going to create like, again, like two boxes there. Uh, we're going to have like a stable there, like that. So stable again. Okay, so stable distro. And on the other hand, we're going to have rolling. Oh, no. <laughs> Not this one. Okay, uh, this one here, rolling. I'm gonna, you're going to see how stupid it is, okay? So you have Bobby, all right? And Bobby, Bobby is using his, his stable distro and he's like, hey, on my stable distro, everything works. Because he has the hardware that work out of the box on stable distro and he's like, this is the best. I don't want to have to maintain a rolling that breaks from time to time. And you know what, Bobby? Is it, is it how you write Bobby? No. Bobby. Okay. You know what, Bobby? With your uh, AMD, let's say, I don't know, uh, 6800 XT, you are right. You are right. Because out of the box, with your relatively like old hardware, everything is, is going to work on your Debian. So you don't, need, you don't need more. Everything is stable. You're happy. Everybody is happy, right? But what happened is like Bobby... He's having an argument with Ryan, you see? And Ryan, he chose rolling because he has the RTX 1490. Problem with the RTX 1490 is like, if you install Debian, 
the driver for the RTX 4090 are gonna be like three years old. Which means if he if he had his RTX 4090 here, he has no DLSS. He has no RTX plus whatever the name is, like the latest RTX. He has no Wayland support. <gasps> he has like he has all those points there, which makes the experience bad out of the box. Can he fix it? As I mentioned earlier, yes, he can do it. But Bobby, he, he doesn't want to talk about fixing it, right? And Ryan, he, he doesn't want to have the headache to actually fix that. Because for him, it's just easier to install like uh, Cache OS or whatever, Arch, and have all of them ready out of the box. And what is happening in the community here? And when you have uh, the, the perpetual fight, Bobby versus Ryan, where they are like, they are right in their own, you know, place. They are like, oh, rolling is better. Blah. Oh, stable is blah, it's bad. Blah, 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 blah. And you're like, like, guys, can, can you just sit down and realize what you are doing? Like, can, can, you, can you just do it? So, yeah, you, you get my point, right? And, and, and this is the worst part. I'm going to tell you the worst part because we have done a lot of, like, stream where I tested, like, for example, Debian and then I upgraded it and I kind of, like, optimize it and I had exactly the same result than on Cache OS, for example, when you come to gaming. Like I proved it. There is no real, I would say like value added between one cycle release versus the other. Like th th there is no like th there is no performance gain possible between A and B. Obviously like the Debian you're gonna have to optimize it because they play with packages which are like sometimes like three years old. Right? But like, if those packages, they work with your hardware and you optimize, obviously you need some time to optimize the kernel, you need to optimize uh, the driver, you know, like you, you, you might need to do that, but it, it's still okay. Right? So I think, I think guys, the, the community need to like step down a little bit and be like, all right, just work together. There is no war between A or B, like rolling, stable, uh, uh, Arch, Debian, and like, like I, I'm just getting tired of it. Like, that's why I want you to make this video with a, a little, like, you know, like sketch there for you to <laughs> to have a good visualization of what is actually happening. And uh, please, Bobby and Ryan, stop making war, start to make love. What's happening to us, Bobby and Ryan? Okay, that's all for today. It was just a little rant. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. Don't forget to uh, give a thumbs up. And uh, yes, see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.